Hey there everyone. Today we're going to take our first steps towards becoming a Windows Power user. Hope you'll join. Hey there everyone. Today we're going to be jumping right back into Windows. Now, the reason I wanted to do this is because in earlier episodes, we touched on how to navigate and use the, uh, the most popular operating systems out there. But today, I want to start taking the first steps towards becoming a power user. And what I really mean by that is learning how to navigate by using more than just a mouse. With the use of a keyboard, you can have actions happen at the literally click of a button. So, like this, I can go ahead and completely change up the how my system's working and how fast I can navigate through things. So for today, I'd really suggest a notebook and some uh, or some paper and pencil, and with that, ideally a computer to follow along. So let's get started. So in order to start off with our new navigation tools or our first steps to becoming a Windows Power user, I want to specifically focus on navigation and one of the first things that you'll one of the most important ways to navigate through windows is actually through a key you won't find yourself using too often if you're not a developer so today we're going to learn about alt tab with alt tab we can alternate through different tabs and or windows happening within our windows ecosystem so to showcase this i'll go ahead and start right here and right now with Alt first, and then followed by Tab, we'll switch from this Windows, uh, from this Chrome tab to another one. So if I were watching a video, paused it real quick, and wanted to go ahead and uh, go to my other content, I'd be able to hold Alt and keep clicking Tab to go through all the different windows that I have open. So what I'm looking for is actually this itch.io. Uh, tile. I was tired of the video, so I decided I wanted to move on to some games. And with this, we have quick access to every program and or window we have open inside of Windows. Really making the transitioning and uh, jumping between windows really easy. This will become really important if you ever end up doing work that's primarily on a computer. Because you'll find that your workload up usually or probably will involve a lot of open tabs and windows and you'll have to learn how to organize these things in order to be productive. Past this, we also have a similar concept but a little bit more advanced and this is what's known as the Windows tab uh, explanation. With this, uh, we can actually create multiple desktops instead of just windows. So instead of transitioning between the different windows or programs we have inside of our program or inside of our operating system so far, I can go ahead and hit the windows button and then tab and just like this we have a new desktop meaning there's no programs open here and I could have one desktop open for gaming, YouTube, music, whatever I like playing around with. And then I can have another desktop open for work. Take care of things that are more personal, personal documents. It could be a security thing. Or you could do it when you're simply sharing a computer with someone. Make things a little easier. So with that, let's continue on with more navigation tips. In order to continue with navigation, what we're going to do is actually go ahead and uh, I'll go to some of my folders. And let's say I already have folders selected, and actually what I'm going to do is paste this a couple of times. But let's say we want to get from the top folder down to the bottom. And in order to do so, uh, we need to uh, find some form of navigation on our keyboard, because maybe our mouse broke, or maybe I'm just too lazy to move my hand over. And in order to properly uh, move down this list, uh, we would use a type of medium that is synonymous with gaming most of the time and in this case it will be our arrow keys just a simple up and down system no complexity and it saves you a lot of time um, and past that with when it comes to navigation on Windows 
you'll slowly find that there's certain keys mapped throughout your keyboard, if you have a full keyboard, with the standard keyboard, F1 through 12 keys, and numpad, that you'll have a lot of ways to navigate around a computer. But really, it's more important to keep it simple, use what you can understand, and keep doing it until it becomes intuitive to you. Really the best way to learn through this. But moving past navigation, let's go ahead and move into uh, making something happen and actually making something. And in order to do that, I'm gonna introduce two key keyboard shortcuts that would be really useful in a scenario where I'm coming home, about to finish up a new project or start a new project and I need to do it really quick. Just an imaginary scenario, but let's go ahead and at our desktop, hit the combination of Control and N. With this, we go ahead and open a new Windows Explorer tab. We go into our documents and I actually want to make a new folder. In order to do that, I just add one extra key to that two-step system. So he, this time I'll hit Control Shift N, and like that we have a new folder. So now uh, let's call this my school project, and then I actually want to save this name. So I hit Enter, and then Enter again to go inside. So like that I opened up Windows Explorer, created a new folder, named it, and then went inside. Now, let's say I actually want to go back, backspace, then I want to rename the folder, control R, oh, no, control shift R, I'm wrong. <laughs> so now as our final step to this video of becoming a better Windows user or a Windows power user, I'm going to actually go ahead and show you a cheat sheet button. This button will interpret whatever you're looking at on your Windows system, as long as it pertains to the Windows shell slash operating system, and actually show you what shortcut keys you could be pressing. And if you have a normal keyboard, you should be able to do this by simply clicking F10. For some of you, you might have to hit uh, an FN or function F10 because your computer has an alternate key set or different uses for the F keys up at the top. But in either case, now you can see that F, 1, 2, H, S, V, v and E uh, all have been mapped to a certain property. And that's because with this view on, we can go ahead and see what we need to use. Alongside this, we can actually, oh, not full screen, but we can actually uh, find cheat sheets in a bunch of different situations. So if I actually go here and then press F10 again, oh, it's not staying, but in either case, uh, we'll find that throughout different systems in Windows, we'll be able to do so. But to end this all off, to really make you into someone who can speed through Windows, there's one last navigation trip. Tip, sl tip slash trick I wanna show you and it's as simple as Windows button S. With this, we can go ahead and search on our system without having to touch a single thing when it comes to the mouse. And if you're on a slower system that's running on an HDD or a hard drive instead of an SSD, you'll find that uh, this usually is a little slow. So having the extra speed when it comes to uh, opening up the search bar really helps, especially when there's a load time involved with it. So. With like that, we can go ahead and look up our school project. And if Windows searches properly, we should have the folder right there. So hopefully you'll join us next week when we continue with Windows Power User Tips in order to get not only better at using Windows, but a lot faster. Until then, have a nice week.